Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually coming to you guys with a haul. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna try to get through this really, really quickly because I'm exhausted and I just filmed like, what, like four or five videos and I wanted to kind of play catch up with filming because I finally had my office area set. As you can see, I'm in a new location. Don't mind the squeaky chair, this is my old chair. Still waiting on my new one. But anyway guys, I went to where did I go? I went to Walmart and to Sally's Beauty Supply and I got some goodies. So bear with me. Let me take everything out of the bags and I will show you guys the goodies that I got. BRB. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with my Sally's haul because I just went there today and I picked up a whole bunch of necessities needed to get this hair in check. Now, I have been devout to my Jerome um, Russell semi-permanent hair dye. And I didn't want to travel to get it, so I decided to try out the Ion brand. So I went ahead and picked up from their Brights collection. I picked up two of the red shades. And I will, of course, it let you guys know how I feel about these. Um, this is my first time trying them. So I definitely do want to do my first impressions on this. Uh, semi-permanent hair color and this is the color brilliance brights and this is in the shade red so i picked two of these bad boys up now i picked up this was from actually from the dollar store down the street i picked up some bonnets some shower caps and they were like 12 for a dollar so i like using these or a bag so that there's no mess everywhere my hair is pretty long it likes to fall off and everything so anyway that's that the next thing i picked up was the ion color brilliance powder lightener and this is the conditioning dust free formula for on or off the scalp ap application so i got the big boy tub because i do not want to have to repurchase bleach i have been using the splat bleach that came in a few boxes that i had and that's what i've been using my hair burns so bad and i'm like maybe i should just go for the professional stuff and it might not be that you know ow so yes i picked this up and this should last me quite a bit of time i haven't even opened it yet so with that i got the developer and i got the ion sensitive scalp nine percent developer 30 volume developer so this guards against scalp sensitivity and it has conditioning wheat proteins and refreshing fragrance i actually haven't smelled it to be honest i haven't even opened it oh okay it does smell kind of perfumey, but a nice, smells like a body wash. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much that for that. And I ended up picking up the measuring bowl and the brush for it because I pretty much just threw everything away. Like I was moving, I didn't want to deal with the old stuff. So I went ahead and got a measuring cup that I will keep and the matching brush. I just really loved the purple stuff. So that was pretty much it for my Sally's haul. I do have to maintain this quaff. As you can see, it's in my sassy bun. My roots are growing in and I just did it maybe not even two months ago. It's crazy. So anyway, the next items I got were from Walmart and this was one massive haul. I went one time to Super Walmart somewhere in a few time, towns over one night after working over for over 24 hours you know two days straight and i i guess i was in delirium i really wanted to sleep but i saw stuff i actually picked this up from cvs not from walmart but it was like on my way and this is a gold chain this is a head wrap or a necklace so it is a two-in-one thing and i was going to do a really beautiful bronzy tutorial and i really wanted to see how this looked against my red hair so i'm really excited about this so i haven't taken it out of the packaging but i thought it was cute and pretty and i got it for free Gotta love them coupons. Okay, so I got some accessories and these are filthy. I ended up picking up a couple of sunglasses and I got these right here. I think this is cute. You guys can probably see all the crap that's surrounding me right now. <laughs> so yeah, I thought these were cute. Um, they are white with silver, which I thought were fancy schmancy. And they were like four bucks, five bucks. Anyway. So I picked up another set of glasses and these are nice tan with like a zebra print on the inside and this is what they look like what anyway <laughs> i actually love them both um 
equally. So that's that for accessories. I picked up two brushes. The first thing I found, it was a whole new brand I've never heard of, and it is called LAB to the second power, or Lab to the second, I don't know, Lab 2. And this is Live and Breathe Beauty. Now, this brand is actually, I think it's from Kiss. This actually says fingers on the box, really, really small print. It says Pacific World Co Corporation. But then down here somewhere it says fingers Dutchland. So, yeah. And fingers, I think, is like a Kiss sister company or something like that. But anyway, I got this blending brush. This is a Just Blending in brush. And I haven't used it yet, as you can see. The packaging is cute. I... I don't know I think for the price it better be good so it's this right here this reminds me of my Sonia Kashuk brush actually I don't know it feels soft I don't know yeah it feels soft it feels like it needs a little bit of conditioning but I just put eyeshadow on it without washing it ew but they come in a box it has a nice matte uh, bezel and yeah it's really pretty and it says just blending in brush they had a whole array of brushes they had a couple eye brushes this was the one that appealed to me because these are the kind of brushes i use that's going in my collection and they had a couple face brushes none of them really appealed to me the price was like mm, i think it was like seven dollars for no i think it was like 5.99 for this brush which is okay but let me stop so the next thing i picked up i've been wanting forever in a day and i just never get around to it and i finally picked up the eco tools deluxe fan brush and i haven't tried it yet and oh my god let me get this bad boy open oh, that's this brush right here and i think this would be good for like an all over powder application for even bronzing highlighting blush whatever oh my god this brush is thick like i have an elf fan brush right here and <laughs> this is the eco tools fan brush and like look at the thinness versus the thickness of this one like that's massive massive that poor baby brush had like it has no chance against this brush so if you're looking for a thicker um fan brush something that could, you could just like maybe just fan your powder foundation on or whatever recommend this i have heard nothing but good things about it they used to have a display of it and i used to always play with it so i know how soft it is okay so now on to the makeup products i picked up quite a little bit not a lot of makeup products so the first things i picked up i just spotted them at walmart brand freaking new display and it is the maybelline superstay better skin skin transforming foundation this is the super stay better skin concealer corrector and it says it's with avec acto whatever so they say they're new i got the sh shade 20 lights and i got the shade 30 warm nude um they had balls to the wall all the bottles open it was so aggravating i'm like can't you just open like one bottle for swatching and kind of can range it from there no they opened 15 20 25 30 i think it was 80 90 i'm like whoa so the color range is very very strange to me i do not think that um maybelline has this kind of number system for anything else um i think they were all like I think the first ones were like 15, 20. I think it's kind of like what their Fit Me line is like. But this one, I haven't opened it yet. And I love to do a first impressions on this. I do have another Maybelline foundation that I just started maybe a couple months ago. And I love. And Maybelline hasn't steered me wrong yet. So I cannot wait to try this stuff. But I'm going to look it up and get some more information on it beforehand. And this is the corrector. And I got it in the shade 20 light because I like to highlight under my eyes and in the winter I get a lot more paler anyway so I figured whatever two birds one stone so I was excited to pick those up the next thing I picked up was from L'Oreal and it is the brow stylist plumper I want to do a first impressions on this bad boy so I think that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to compare this to my benefit gimme brow because I love my benefit gimme brow I do not know what the hell I was waiting for so long but I'm so glad I gave in and bought it and I love the little packaging in the bottle but this comes with what looks like a lot more let me compare 
This comes with 0.1 ounce, three grams, and this comes with 0.27 ounces. So that's a lot more product than this little bad boy right here. So, but I love this thing so much. And I picked up the color medium to dark. I'm hoping it is not too warm on my eyes. I like more of a cool tone because my brows are so dark. I definitely don't want to go warm. My hair is bright red and I kind of want to keep the contrast of dark on my brows. So I cannot wait to give this a go. Of course, I did not open it. I wanted to show you guys first. So let me know if you've tried this actually. I'd like your input before I give this bad boy a go. But yeah, <laughs> picked up two of the new Wet n Wild contour palettes. I was excited to say the least. Um, I don't know if there was three. I think there's only two. Um, this is Dulce de Leche, which I have to say is my favorite, and Caramel Toffee. And I will show you guys a close up. Okay, so I'll show you guys side by side. So this one right here is Dulce de Leche and it has more of a, to me, a cool tone of bronze and it has the yellow highlight powder, which I really, really like. And this one's Caramel Toffee. It looks a little bit more on the cool tone spectrum. It has more pinky undertones, but they're not like orangey or anything like that. So I actually really, really do like them both. Let's see if you can see it when it's tilted. You can see the pink a little bit more. This looks more on the pinky peachy tone. This looks more cool toned. I definitely love this under eye powder right here. It reminds me of a mix of the vanilla and banana powder from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. So this is Dulce de Leche right here. So I can definitely use this just as a nice little contour when I'm a little bit lighter. And I can also use this for an eyeshadow. This looks like an amazing crease shade. It is beautiful, it is cool toned, and it is very, very pretty. It feels so soft and finely milled. It is ridiculous. So this one is in Caramel Toffee. And this is a lot more pinky tone, but I'll use them both. And that's that right there. This definitely has more of a pink undertone to it, but it is still on the cool neutral side. And those are Dulce de Leche and Caramel Toffee. And they both look good. I think they'll both make really good like contour palettes for someone that's a lot more fair to light medium so someone with my complexion maybe a little bit darker can probably pull these off just as a nice little all-around powder on the face i do hope they come out with some darker versions of these keep it cool guys cool neutral i think it would work wonders and you'll get a lot more people looking at your products like i just feel like this would be just to light to medium skin tone and that's like on the lighter medium spectrum it's not on the dark unless you want the highlight shade i still think it's worth it for just the highlight shades because i mean it's under four dollars for these things so i really do think it's still worth it if you at least just want it for the highlight shade but i kind of wish they gave you an array of bronzer or sculpting powders because these are not good for just anyone you know but i think they would make really good eyeshadow on the crease and i actually like them all over the face and for my eyes anyway guys i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye